Hey guys, what's going on? Derek Sims here, back with another new video. This one's kind of different. I don't know if I've done this quite yet or not on my channel, but I was inspired by one of Kayla's builds, uh, Little Simsy, if you will. Um, but I like to call her Kayla because, you know, Kayla seems nice to say. I mean, I don't know her obviously, but it's just nice to say Kayla. Um, the past couple days at work during my lunch breaks, I was watching some old videos from Kayla that she put up last fall, last summer, around that time frame. And one video that really got me inspired to do this video was a building challenge where each room had a different budget based on the number you get from a random number generator off of Google. And I loved the idea so much, I wanted to try and do that myself. So, major credit to Kayla for making this home. Uh, what I did was I went into the gallery, found the home that she uploaded back in September from her video. That video will be linked in the description below, as well as my final house product, if you guys want to check that out. Um, basically what it is, is every room gets a random number from this random number generator. And like I was saying, this house floor plan, like the layout, the shell I should say, is created by Kayla. I was not coming up with any ideas of my own for it, so I deeply apologize. But I just love Kayla's creation so much that I took the shell of the home and I've made it my own. Anyway, enough jibber jabbering about this. So right now we are currently doing the entry, which, you know, we all love a good entry. <laughs> and for this, we only add 848 simoleons. I can kind of work with that, except for the fact that you can only do so much in such little space. And I wanted to go big. As everybody knows, I love going big. It's either go big or go home, right? Well, I like doing things to go big. I want it to be nice and open and big. However, <laughs> with only 848 simoleons, that's kind of hard to do, you know? So to keep it short, sweet, and simple, I tried winging it and just making the best out of the situation with what little money we have because eh, it could be a lot better. Could it? Nah. Actually, yeah, I could. <laughs> I think that is about it for this entry. So go me for trying. What is this? Oh yeah, this was a rug. I thought this was a rug. No, it's a chemical spill uh, from, I think it was the Stranger Things pack. I don't remember exactly. It's been a while. And by a while, I mean, I was recording this between 11 p.m. Friday night to 3 a.m. Saturday morning. <laughs> oh, the things I do on my days off sometimes in the weirdest hours. So now we are in the living room. The living room, I think, turned out to be one of the best areas for me personally because that's like a dream space. Thankfully, I got a budget of 8,832 simoleons and that is a lot to work with. I don't know if I had used all the simoleons, but it was enough to work on this space, make it open and inviting. The one thing I struggled with that you're seeing right now is the lighting situation. Like, I don't know how I managed to pull that little thing off, but like, I want it to be bright. I want it to be warm and inviting. And aside from the lighting issue, I know I had a seating issue. Like, I didn't know how to put the seats down. Like, I didn't know where to put a couch or a chair or a love seat, you know? I didn't... Getting to the part where you had to put down the couches. It was just like, how many couches do you want? How big do you want the couches? Do you want a love seat or a couch? And do you want chairs? You know, like, I know I want a bookshelf. I want a bookshelf in the living room. That's a fact. Do I want one in the office? Sure. And my plan is to make an office. Like in Kayla's video of this house, she did 
two bedrooms for the kids upstairs and the parents' bedroom that's under construction, which big kudos to you on that, by the way. I could not come up with that kind of backstory for the life of me. <laughs> And a bathroom. In my build, I can tell you now that this is a one bedroom, one bath home with a laundry room and an office that, you know, it's for a single simoleon, just a starter home. And in the end, if I remember right, the budget was like between 50 and $60,000 furnished for this entire house. Uh, I can't think of it at the top of my head. I didn't get a picture of it, but yay so as you can see we got the bookshelf looks really pretty expensive plant pretty should i put the plant by the chair probably not oh and i should add that why are there no windows yet the windows are going to be at the end of the build so what i've done was I can have it now because I have my notes up. So I did in order the entryway, the living room, the dining room, the kitchen, the upstairs hallway, the office, the master bedroom, the master bathroom, and then in the end I did doors to the inside and the outside, the windows, the outside roofing, the outside painting, the, <laughs> the outside landscaping. Although I think that kind of goes under outdoor furniture that I put down, but I really do think that the landscaping was part of the doors and windows category that I put down, along with other things. But yeah, that's how I did this whole build. So apologize if that's a little confusing to see. Uh, just like that table setting. <laughs> right now we have moved on to the dining room with a slightly lower budget at 6,127 simoleons. Um, this room, I wish I had made a little bigger, but in the end, how it turns out, I think is appropriate. I mean, could I have done without one or two things in the dining room? Absolutely. Like, I remember, oh my goodness, what was it? It was like, oh, what was it? I think it was pipes. I think I put pipes in the corner or something, and then I hit it with a plant, I think. Don't quote me on that because, you know, with a voiceover, you can't really tell what you did until you see it. And I'm just trying to pick a plant at this point, <laughs> as you see. I'm picking a plant. Um, now that I'm thinking about it, I think I did do a pipe. I think I did do pipes in the corner just to waste money. I know one thing I did, and this was an epic fail, as you can see. I tried putting like a wall divider in open space. Like I wanted it to have like, you know, like a half wall, but it's not an actual wall. It's just room dividers like that. The only problem is because of the walls being right there, I couldn't really connect it because every time I would, it matched with the wall. And same thing with the lights. Like it would just turn to connect to the wall and be on the wall, you know? And I was just freeforming it to being on the beam. Like, I don't want that. So eventually I gave up on the idea. Like I wanted the little wood dividers, but it didn't work. I wanted the lights, it didn't work. So that kind of screwed me over, but that's okay. Cause we got natural light from the ceiling light above the dining table. And yes, you can see that I did install some pipes. Um, I didn't do a basement, so I don't know exactly <laughs> where the pipes are going down below, but up above, if I remember correctly, they are going to the sink in the master bathroom, which we'll get to later on. Now, we are moving into the kitchen, where the budget, well, hit and miss. It's a little bit lower than the dining room, but it is doable. 5,124 simoleons. Uh, everybody knows I love an accent wall. So we got our lovely wooden wall in the back. Um, an open kitchen, definitely one that I love. The only problem is with that much money and going for the most expensive as possible cabinets and countertops, that kind of did me in. Same thing with appliances, top notch. Woo! I don't know what I was thinking. I just know that. <laughs> 
I just know I wanted big, I wanted expensive, I wanted luxurious, I wanted I wanted the full kitchen experience to be lavish and inviting and rich and just oh my god. <laughs> I just I, I don't I didn't know how to pull it off. So I kinda went with some slightly cheaper cabinets. Um I know at one point, I forget who, I don't know if it was Kayla or not. Um, somebody tried doing the stovetop that you see there with an oven. I tried doing that, but it didn't look right. Like, don't get me wrong, that looks like a cool idea, but at the same time, like, it just didn't look that right to me. So I kinda took that out and I just left the, the stovetop part. The hood, if I had cabinets, it would look better because the curved part of the pipe for the exhaust wouldn't be sticking out like a sore thumb like it is there. I might get rid of that exhaust fan later on. Uh, what else was there? Oh yeah, have you guys noticed that throughout the whole house, I have used pretty much the same kind of flooring and wallpaper? That's gonna be the trend throughout the whole house, I think, except for the bathroom, obviously. The bedroom might get carpet. I'm still debating on that. But pretty much the rest of the house, minus the bathroom, might get the same wallpaper and flooring options, which I think is fine because it's a neutral color. It's a neutral environment. I think it'll be just fine. You know? Like, it is what it is. I was showing a friend earlier my video and she was like, in regards to that uh, trash chute in the wall, she was like, is that a mailbox or a laundry chute? I'm like, no, that's the trash can. Instead of having it on the floor, there's one like in the wall. And then she was like, oh, so it goes into the basement. Okay, well, where is that gonna go? I'm like, well, it doesn't really go into the basement per se, but it, it is like a laundry chute, but it just doesn't go into the basement. Or, I don't know how I exactly worded it to her. I was just like, yeah, it's it's a garbage chute. It's not a laundry chute. And she's like, okay. So it's like, whatever at this point, right? <laughs> anyway, right now we have finished the kitchen, unfortunately. Sad and little as it is, but it'll make do for this challenge. The upstairs hallway, we have a budget of only 1,038 simoleons. I wish it was a little bit more, but you know, it's slightly more than the entryway itself by like a couple hundred smillions. But at the same time, you have a little more space to work with because I want it to be open floor, but at the same time having it closed off for like the hallway, getting to the rooms. I think see I'm kind of struggling with how to do that. It wasn't that easy. I'm still trying to figure it out. Even right now, during this voiceover. Actually, no, I'm not. <laughs> during this voiceover, I'm just doing a voiceover and then I'm gonna get a piece of chocolate and then I'm gonna get snug in bed and hug my pillow and just, you know, have a good night. By the time this is uploaded, it might be Sunday. Actually, it shall be Sunday by the time this is up. Uh, hey -o. Anyway, so. We got that fixed. Uh, I know I want that little room to the left to be the office. I know that much. I want an office so bad. I don't know how big I want it. I know I want an office. Just like the entryway downstairs, I want a little reading area. I don't know why. I really don't. I think it ties the space together somehow. It probably doesn't make sense to those starting out or anything, but like, when you go into a home and you just see a random chair and a lamp or a table, that just tells you it's a waiting area. Even though it's not really a waiting area per se. Like, am I making any sense? Like, does this make sense to anybody? Like, you know, a little peace and quiet, table, lamp, chair, flower, yada yada. No, just me. Okay, well, I figured, and that's okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. The one thing that I've been wanting to do throughout the whole house 
was really fill it with some artwork because it would show the personality side of the simoleon living here even though we don't know who it is yet as you can see i have a uh, Al alonzo Gar alonzo garza down there oh my god it's only been a couple days am i really forgetting his name already am i that terrible <laughs> holy cow um alonzo <laughs> Oh, Angelo. Oh my god, I am a terrible person. It's Angelo. And I'm like, oh, oh my god. I'm tired. I'm sorry. I've been up since, well, 8.30 a.m. and it's 8 p.m. But I woke up at 9.30 p.m. yesterday, so it's like, mm. Anyway, enough of that. Uh, we moved on to the office. The office budget was sadly, and I mean sadly, only 1,627 simoleons. And that sucked because I really wanted to go all out on the office. Because I wanted to make it high tech, I wanted to make it like very gadgety, I wanted, to, wanted it to be like a gamer's office. But instead, I had to make it this little upcomer office. Like, I couldn't even afford our freaking computer. I had to get them a tablet instead, and that kind of sucked. But I mean, you can get by with a tablet for now, and later on maybe you can upgrade and get a computer. Who knows? You get a cell phone and you get a tablet. That's all that kind of really matters. Eh. Oh well. That's about it. So now, you can see we have moved on to the parents' bedroom. That final room to the right of it, between that and the office, this will be the master bathroom. So for the master bedroom, thankfully we got a beautiful budget. 7,651 simoleons. I think that is the perfect budget for a bedroom. I really do. Because as you can see, I maximize the space. I utilize what I need, what I don't need. I need a TV. I need a bed. I need a dresser. I need end tables. I need lighting. Um, what else did I add? I think I added a plant. Me and those darn plants. <laughs> That's one thing you guys will never not see from me as a plant. Um, oh yeah, because it's Pride Month and because, you know, I'm openly gay, I definitely wanted a pride flag above the bedroom. Maybe it'll be for me in the future. Who knows? And by me, I mean, it'll be for Derek Sims in the future, obviously, not Angelo Garza. But, you know, if I was to put Derek Sims on this lot, it'd be perfect for him. One bed, one bath. And, you know, it's just his taste, I guess. Except it'd be having a lot more purple. But it's more grown up and perfect, I think. What do you guys think? Do you think that looks fine? I'm kind of iffy on the mirror. Like, I wanted a wall mirror, but at the same time, I wanted to save space and to make it... There's the purple. <laughs> you talking about the purple, and then there I do. Purple. Um, the... The mirror, I don't know about. I thought about maybe putting it in the bathroom only, but I'm like, eh, keep one by the dresser just in case. So, as you can see, we have finally finished that masterpiece. We moved on to the master bathroom. The budget is a lot more, which I really, 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 really did not anticipate being. 9,325 simoleons. I really did not expect that for the budget. I really didn't, but it is what it is. First things first, laundry. Kayla's bill didn't have a laundry room, nor did it have an office. I'm not saying I made these to one-up Kayla, but you can say I one-upped her, but I'm not doing this to one-up her. I'm doing this for me because I believe every house has to have an office of some sort, or it can be an extra bedroom. They can use it however. They also need a laundry room because yeah they just need to so that's where i stand on that i'm not saying i'm doing this because kayla didn't i'm just doing it because i feel that it is completely necessary to do it now is it completely necessary to do the laundry room in the bathroom probably not i mean some places do like a couple years ago i looked at a condo down the street from where i'm living at the moment that had in the master bathroom the laundry room like behind the shower like 
that was kind of cool, kind of weird. But, and I say kind of cool, kind of weird because it was weird that laundry was on the second floor and it was weird because it was in the master bathroom in the closet. But I thought it was neat because all the bedrooms were, the two bedrooms upstairs and the one bathroom were upstairs. So like you didn't have to go downstairs or something to do laundry. It was there in the bathroom. But it was just weird convenience. If you guys had seen it in person like I did. But the way I'm doing this, the washer and dryer is stacked. The one I saw in person, they are across from each other. Which was really inconvenient. But this, having it stacked like this in the bathroom, and how you see the bathroom taking shape, I think makes perfect sense logically to utilize the space. Especially when you put a wall there. It's like you don't even really see that there's a laundry unit in the bathroom. Like, hey, how cool is that for trying to seal the deal and close off the space? I mean, I could have made matters better and put another wall in front of the washer and dryer unit. And then just to put a door. Or even an archway. Hmm. Maybe I'll come back to that later on. I don't know. Like I said earlier, I wanted more purple. I'm getting a purple glow mirror. That is a must. That is a big fat must. I want the mirror. I actually kind of want that in real life too, but I hate looking at myself in the mirror because, you know, we love body positivity in this house. Unfortunately, I do not. So that kind of sucks. But mirrors are really pretty and cool to look at. You know what else would have been cool? Having a little garden above the tub. Like, you know how those fancy houses have like big trellis-like flowers or vines above or draping into your bathtub? That's kind of what I was trying to go for here, but it didn't really work. So instead we just got, you know, little, <laughs> little things like that. I don't think they work, but It'll do for the build, right? I mean, it's all for the build. What else can you do? I have been talking way too long. I have been talking this entire video, probably will, till the end. And yeah, my voice is gonna be shot tomorrow. So finally, we are to the part where we do the up, all the doors, the windows, and the landscaping, and the roofing, and the outdoor paint and possible fencing, all that stuff. Everything that we have not done yet. And that budget is 7,445. I wanted to do it different because I just wanted to see how much I could do for all of that. Like if I only had like maybe a thousand simoleons or 2,000 simoleons, I wouldn't have done like such big doors for the back door or the front door. And then I would have had to do like little door frames for the bedroom, the bathroom, the office, maybe even do a door frame for the front and back door instead, like, uh-uh, and then do no windows. Like, it's just so hard to think of what you want to do. So that's why I saved it for the end. Does that make any sense? If not, I'm sorry, but it's just what I came to mind with. Like, I just wanted to do all that last. It just made more sense to me. So yeah, with 7,445 simoleons, we were able to get some really nice windows. The only thing I regret not doing with the remainder of the budget before I even did landscaping and all that was getting some curtains for the windows. Like, why didn't I get curtains? Curtains kind of tie the window together into the space, but at the same time, if you keep a window open, it'll let in more light and it'll look more open. And it'll look less cluttered in the room with having things on the wall. You know, I don't know if that made any sense to you guys. But to me, it sounds like I'm a freaking genius. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm probably gonna listen to this video once it's up on YouTube and regret some things I've said stupidly because of how tired I am. But it's... Right now, what matters is I'm making sense to myself, and that's kind of all that matters. 
Oh my goodness. So for the windows, I went with something I've never used before really, and these are windows that you would see from the school pack. I don't know why I picked them, they just look subtle and good on the house. <sighs> what else looks good on the house is the exterior wallpaper. I wanted to do, and I wanted to carry the accent walls outwards, and so I did two walls on the upper and lower level of that black brick, and then the rest of the siding be siding, like you see. Like, I think it looks good. I didn't want to do the whole house one thing. I wanted to have it be a little different, pop a little, and I think it pops just fine. See, you get the little white siding there, and then you get the black brick. I think it looks nice. Oh my goodness. God, I can't wait until the part where I can stop talking. Uh, <laughs> So what happens when you talk for like 26 minutes straight with no fluids to throw down your throat? Can't wait till this is over, then I can get a giant glass of water. Ah, uh, yeah. One challenge I will say, do your roofing first. What I did not know was that roofs are free. Like, I didn't know that. And I must have missed that in Kayla's video. Looking back at it after I've done the voiceover, yeah, roofs are free, and I completely missed that. And I should have done the roofing first and not try to struggle with it now. I could have done a flat roof, but I didn't want to. Like, eh. I don't know. It was a thought, but... Nah. I like the roof idea that Kayla had with the little short parts of the roof that you're seeing in front of the windows. Uh, I think that was very genius. I think for sure that... Oh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I think that in the end, when I add the landscaping and everything, this will look like a normal house that you would see any day. I really do. Heck, I wouldn't be surprised if anybody saw this on Zillow or Realtor.com or something, you know. That'd be funny. the talking right now and let the video enjoy the rest of itself all I'm doing now is adding landscaping various trees and bushes to the yard and property and then building the backyard I can tell you now that the backyard budget was only and I mean only Eight thousand five hundred and four dollars. <laughs> Was I disgusted by the price? Absolutely not. I think that's a very fair price for the backyard. But I kind of wanted to go big. But when you're on a small lot, what can you really do? So I'm gonna stop the talking here in a sec and let the video play out. I took pictures that will play at the end of this video of the room's final results and what it looks like on the gallery. The link in the description below will be to download the house if you want it from the gallery. Major credit and thank you to Kayla, known as Lil Sims. Lil Simsy, sorry. I need sleep. <laughs> Kayla, known as Little Simsy, for creating such a beautiful house floor plan and for doing a really bang up job in her video. I will link her video in the description below also to so you guys can see where I got the inspiration from. I'm sorry I didn't do a 
face cam. I'm probably not going to do face cam for quite some time because I'm having camera issues. You may have noticed in like my cottage living reaction video that the video was delayed from the audio and I'm maybe looking into getting the camera. Who knows? Um, that's about all I can say. So, um, yeah, that is about it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoy this house. Let me know in the comments if you want to see me do a renovation challenge of your choosing. Like you pick a house in the Sims 4 game you want me to redo. Or if you have any thoughts on what I should have done differently about the house or anything, feel free to leave your suggestions below. Uh, yeah, this is Derek Sims hopping off the mic. Thank you guys for watching and I will catch you guys next time. Bye!